Greetings everyone. Today we are going to do a tutorial on a Christmas glass ornament. This ornament is a matte finish in the color of champagne with a gold top. We are going to be doing a mandala design inspired by this bookmark that I made. So we are going to pair these colors with the champagne. Hopefully it comes out nicely. So the colors we are going to use for this today are going to be our greens, which today I'm using metallic lime. I'm going to be using lime tree. This is a very almost neon like color. It brings out these nice hues in this one. I'm also going to be using some earthy metallic tones. So I'm going to be using my metallic copper. I'm going to be using my metallic bronze. And I'm using this metallic rose gold. The flat matte colors I will be using are sun-kissed peach. I will be using antique white. And to add some contrast, we are going to be using the color pavement. This is almost like a black hue, but a very dark charcoal gray. So the colors will be nice and subtle. We're going to be completing this design that I've created here. So let's get our dotting tools together. Once again, we will be using these three stylist tools. And we will also be using the white mandala stone dotting tools. If you'd like to use Mark's dotting tools or happy dotting tools, um, please do so. Okay. The sizes may be off a tad, but we can work that out. Okay, so our first step is to take our silicone stencil. You can use the dome ones. You can use anything that you have your hands on. I will put this one in the link in the description if you like. This one's from Happy Dotting Company. Um, and what you want to do is just line up so that this top portion at least is level with the top up here. And from here, we're going to just quickly sketch out some of these guide tool lines. Okay, so now that I sketched out a rough idea on where my placement's going to be, I can start dotting. We're going to first do the center dot of this one. So we're going to do the metallic rose gold first. So let's get our rose gold. And we're going to use a number 11 dotting tool. And we're simply just going to dot just the center 
dot of rose gold. Okay, let's put that aside. I believe that's going to be the only time we use rose gold. I think one more time we're going to use rose gold, rose gold which is right there. So the next color that we're going to do is the sun-kissed peach. And we're going to do these outer perimeter dots right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our smaller stylists. We're going to get our number two. And we're going to dot on four corners. So north, south, east, west we're going to do. Okay. And then in between we'll do a smaller dot size. So number two, we're going to do one here, just like that. Here. Right there. And then the other side, just like that. Okay. And now we're going to take our number one stylist and we're going to dot in between these four dots. Okay. So you should have a total of eight, four medium and four small. The smaller one will go right here in the center like that. And like that. Perfect. Should look just like that. Okay, so we've done our, we got our sunkissed peach. Now the color we're going to use next is the, uh, the lime green. I think that's what it's called. Lime tree. <laughs> And we're going to use a number eight stylist. Okay, and we're gonna create these dots. I don't know if you can see this. It's hard to get this in focus. These dots right here, we're gonna do. So we're gonna do one on every dot where the cream was, the sun-kissed peach, okay? So, I'll show you one and then we'll move forward. So let's do right here on the line. Just like that, okay? And we'll probably go back over it with a little small stylist just to get that color a little smooth. Like that, okay? And then we'll do this for every single one. Okay, great. So now that we finished our lime tree color, lime greenish color, we're going to go with our antique white. And we're going to dot one more time with the number five stylist. And we're going to do one right after each green. So just like that. Okay, and we'll do this for every single one. If you want to go back, it, it should even itself out, which it looks like it is. But if you find that you have a big glump bump there in the center, take your smallest stylist and just work it around to make it smooth. Um, these seem to be coming out great. So we're going to do this all the way around. Okay, great. We're moving right along here. So, um, we're done with our antique white. Now we're going to move on to our metallic copper. And we're going to make these dots right here, this copper center there. And I think 
we're going to have to go with, I think we're going to repeat the number eight with that one. They're going to be the same size as those green ones are. And we're basically just going to place them. I would just eyeball this. If you want to use this, um, it's the second row of lines that you made with your little tick. You can place it right at the tip end of your line that you have. So let's get a little close here. And we'll do right in between the two white, just like that. Okay, and we'll do this all the way around. I'm going to take my small stylist as well and work out that color a bit, okay? Okay, wonderful. So now that we finished our metallic copper, we're going to move on to the metallic lime green color. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to dot right below this antique white color. We won't we want to leave a little bit of space because when we're done, we're going to go back through it and make these little side swooshes around the the antique white color. But for now, we're just going to do our base coats. Base coats mean we're just laying out our dots and then we'll go back through and do our little small details, okay? Um, so what we're going to do next then is this the green color. We're going to use a number 10 stylist. We're going to leave ourselves a bit space like I suggested because we're going to do that detail when we come back. So I'd say let's start the dot a little bit above this second tick line that you had made. If you didn't make it just eyeball and do a little bit below the antique white just like that. Again we'll go through our um, dots and just smooth them out with this stylus number one so that they're nice and smooth looking. All right, and then um, we'll go ahead and do all of them. So you're going to do underneath every antique white dot. Okay, great. So we finished our metallic lime color. We're going to go back to our sun-kissed peach and we're going to do our cascading dots. So we're going to do the dots that are starting underneath the lime green color and cascading around right here, okay? Um, for that, we're going to use, I think we're going to use our number two stylist. So you can either use this one or you can use your number two white one. Okay. And so I'll do one for you and then we'll move forward with the time lapse. Okay. So get enough on your dotting tool. We're going to start underneath at the bottom and dot all the way up until you reach underneath your antique white. Dot the center again and move all the way up. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to go around to each one and do that. Okay, great. So we finished our sun-kissed peach. We did our cascading dots. The next dots we're going to do are our swooshies. Um, that's going to be these. So we're going to do with the antique white. We're going to do one up the center. We're going to do a dot next to it and curve it towards the left. And then we're going to do another one and curve it towards the right. I will give you one demonstration on how to do it and then we'll finish them up through the time lapse. Again, I'm using a number two stylist as well. 
if you find that you don't like how big they are, you can even drop down to maybe a size one. We're going to start roughly about where these dots end here. So in between. So I'd say like from here to here, right in the middle. Okay. You can vaguely try to eyeball this one dot and pull up until you get to the copper dot. Be careful you don't go into the dot because that paint is still wet. Okay, and then we're going to do one on the left and pull around. And we're going to do one on the right and pull around. So just like that, all right? And then we're going to go all the way around with this. So now that we've gotten our swooshes in the antique white, you can really start to see a nice uh, pattern shape starting to form with this. Sorry about the lighting. It's very bright on this um, metallic. Uh, it's giving off a lot of glare. Anyway, um, let's keep going. So. We did the swooshes, we did the green, we did our dots. I believe the next color we're going to do is back at the green. So we're going to go back to the metallic lime green. And with this one, this is a fairly large dot. So I think we're going to go with a size 14. Okay. Uh, hopefully in your pack you have gotten quite a bit of them. Um, so... This is a, it is a fairly large dotting tool. Well, you can do this. Otherwise, you know, just, just wing it. Just go with whatever size you find suitable. I want a rather large dot because this is going to be my last completed um, row of, of design, so to speak. I'm basically just doing them right underneath the swooshes. And then, of course, I'll go back through again with my stylist and try to even that out a bit. If you like the bump in the center, by all means, leave it. I prefer to have them nice and smooth. Just a preference. Okay, so let's do the rest of them. All right, so now that we finished our largest dot, which is the metallic lime, we are now going to go with these three sets of cascading dots around the green. The first color we're going to choose is the metallic rose gold. And we're probably going to use a number two stylist for this one, all right? So again, we're going to just start at one of the dots, whatever one you prefer. Start at the bottom. Try to line up with the swoosh that you just did above it. And dot there. So that can be your center. All right. I'm going to get a little bit more paint. And then I'm going to dot. And remember, just once you dot in the paint so that your cascades get smaller. I'm going to dot the center again, and I'm going to cascade again on this side. And I'm really just tracing the outer part of the circle, okay? So it should look something like that. We're going to do that to every single one going all the way around. Okay, great, so that's all done. Um, real quick too, I wanna just throw this in here. 
uh, please be very careful when you're working with these and, um, you know, handle them with very delicate care because they can easily slip out of your fingers and the wet paint could fall and it could make a big mess. Um, so please be careful when holding them. Make sure you have a really nice firm grip on them. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, I suggest finding something, whether it's a mason jar. This I'm using just an average, um, you know, uh, little flower pot and something that can fit them, all right? These are rather large ornaments, so they fit nicely. I don't think they'd fit on a coffee cup or anything like that, but um, this helps keep it nice and steady too when you're working. So if you have very shaky hands and you find you cannot do that, um, I suggest trying to put, put it on something and work from that way if you like. Um, or just take your time, you know, let, let it dry and come back. You can always pause this video and return and keep working at your progress at your own speed. Um, I'm not doing these to make you feel rushed in any way possible. If anything, I'm just trying to make you feel uh, a little bit relaxed in the crazy world today and um, just enjoy yourself. So anyway, let's get back to our, our work. Uh, the next color we're going to do is our metallic copper. So we're going to go back to that one. And I think we're going to do... Now remember, when I do my cascading dots, I only do one large dot here, and I don't continue to cascade with the same dotting tool. So I usually like to do one dot. So... Basically, let me just show you what we're doing. I got a number three dotting tool. And I'm just going to dot one dot, which if you could see is slightly bigger than the number two. Okay. We're going to do one just at the edge of each one. And then... Put that dotting tool down for a second. I'm going to get my number two stylist. And then from there, oh, hang on, I got a big glob of paint. Here we go. I'm going to dot and then cascade down. Okay. Just like that on both sides. So you do your number two on this side as well. Okay. I find ornaments a bit tricky to paint only because I do not, I repeat, I do not water down my paints when I do ornaments only because of gravity and the fact that it can, you know, push together. If you notice, this one got a little mushed together. It, it happens, um, you know, if you don't like it, you can always clean it. But I do know that when I water them down, they really start to run where it's all falling off the Christmas ornament. So I suggest just using it straight out of the bottle for something like this, which, you know, it could get a bit tricky. The paint could be gloppy. It could not come out nice and smooth. Um, you really just have to work around that and don't get frustrated. Just know that you're doing this for some peace of mind and some beautiful artwork. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish these. So remember, number three is the first dot and then cascade with your number two stylist. All right, so we're almost done. <laughs> um, we're gonna do our darkest color now. We're gonna do our pavement. This is gonna add a nice balance of contrast 
to um, the design. It shouldn't be able to make it pop a bit. Also do be careful because it is a darker color, so you will see imperfections when this goes on. Um, we're going to do this last cascading dot, and then we're also going to do the swoosh down the center of each one. So, since we did a number three last time, we're going to do number four dotting tool. All right, and uh, carefully now, because it's getting harder to hold it. Normally, I would come back and probably do this uh, at a later time, but I wanted to make a full video just to show you how to do it. Um, so please be careful holding the ornaments. So number four, right? Yeah, number four. We're going to dot the last dot like that. Only the first one. Okay. All right, so like that. Okay, so now we're going to flip around the dotting tool to the number three. And we're just going to do our, remember we do our Mickey ears. So we're just going to do our Mickey ears on either side like so. All right. And we'll do that on every single one. So we'll do four and then three on either side. Okay. And then we're going to do... Can we guess what it is? Hopefully we're getting the hang of it. Number two. <laughs> and number two, we're going to dot. And the number two one, we're going to obviously cascade all the way down. Just like that. Okay. Do that on either side. We'll do over here. It gets a little tricky as you start to get towards like the bottom. It is a little hard to manage, I'm not going to lie. Just be patient with it. All right. So we're going to do this to all of them. All right and then we'll come back. Awesome, okay, so we got that. Now, we're pretty much almost done, guys. We're just gonna do a few more different things here. Um, so we're going to take our number one stylus tool. I was going to use number two, but I realized there are some areas that are pretty tight in here. And I don't even know if they'll fit, but we're going to try. We're going to do this uh, little swoosh here that helps join the green color that tapers up. All right. So we'll use our number one. We're going to use the, again, the pavement color. And we're going to start at the top up here in the center and just pull down. Okay. I pulled down to about the center, I'd say, of this, uh, this cascading dot. So about the center. If you did do the third line on those, um, pat the stencil pattern, um, you'll see that the line rests about there as well. All right, so we'll do one more to show you. Dot it, and then pull it down. And try to center it if you can. It's I know it's a little hard, but, so we're gonna do that little swoosh, okay? We'll do this for all, all of them all the way. All right, so we finished our darker color. I think we might, and I'm only thinking this maybe, um, because it looks different flat than it does um, on a Saphir, 
like this. So I'm thinking maybe we'll take some of this pavement color as well and possibly add it to, I'm thinking the white dots because we're on a, a champagne color. So it's a little hard to see these, these white dots right here in between the copper. So maybe we'll dot those. They're probably a little dry. So what I think we can do is let's get our um, let's get our number two stylist. Okay, I'm just gonna try this one today. I'll try this one. Do our pavement number two, and just lightly dot the center of those white dots, just like that. See? So it adds like a little bit of some depth to it. And we're incorporating the uh, darker color up here because I feel like we don't have much detail at the top up here. It's very bland looking. So we'll do some overlapping colors. I know I don't have it on that um, bookmark like that, but that's okay. We're just gonna switch it up. So like that, we're gonna do it on all of them. All right, we're done with pavement. Let's put that aside now. Um, now we're going to take our copper red. We're gonna do our number three stylist for this one, I think. Maybe number four, actually. Yeah, let's try number four. It might even need a bigger size, so let's see. I'm really just eyeballing this one right now. We're gonna do the metallic copper. And on these green ones here, right here, we're gonna dot the center of those to give it some depth. Hopefully they should be dry by now. If they're still a bit tacky and wet for you, um, then I would suggest waiting and going back when it's fully dry. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just doing it all in one shot just to show you. Okay, we got two more colors to go. So we're gonna get our uh, green back. So we're gonna do our lime tree, which is the green. And we're going to do these small little swooshies again. So again, we'll do the center and curve to the left, curve to the right. Um, this one may be a little tricky for you because if you have no guidelines, I would just suggest trying to make them uh, as straight as you can along these sides. All right, I'm gonna use a number two stylist. And I'm gonna basically, so I'm gonna dot like a little bit below this larger black dot, okay? So right about in this area, I'm going to do my first dot and pull. So I'm gonna dot it and try to line it up with the center of this black cascading swoosh that came down and pull it up. And then do your left and curve up. Always dip your paint every time. And then we curve up to the right, just like that. All right, and we're gonna do that for each one. All right, so our lime tree green is done on all sides. Um, I don't know if you noticed in the time lapse, I did try to point out that I did not want to do this one only because it is right next to the top of the ornament and it would be merely impossible to try and get colors in that area. So I decided to just skip that part. Um, the last color, we're on the last color, finally. We're gonna just do our antique white again. 
all right and uh, we're gonna finish I think with the small dot here all right um, let's see what kind of dot we should do I think we're gonna do probably a number five or six Number six, we're gonna go with number six, all right? So we're gonna dot number six. And this one you're just gonna place under the center of the um, swoosh. See, it's like the center right there, all right? So wherever your green swoosh is, like so, you're just gonna do your white dot, all right? And we'll do these ones on all of them and uh, on a real quick side note I know I mentioned we were gonna do the metallic um, metallic bronze color for uh, this swoosh I decided to just ixnay that because we are so close in this area so sorry about that you don't need the metallic um, bronze color I think what we have is beautiful as it is so we're just going to do these last ones together no time lapse we're all on real time right now again I'm going to skip that one I'm not going to do it yeah and that's it we're all done um, I'm gonna really quick take my number one stylist and just kind of push the paint around the dot make sure none of it is falling down as well because it most certainly can and it will so this I would probably sit here and maybe even blow on it with a hairdryer or something. So um, when you're finished and it's fully dry, you can go back through and, you know, remove some of those um, pencil markings with a wet Q-tip and water. That should come off right away. And um, if you would feel like spraying it with a varnish, you can to seal it in. Um, but this is our finished results. So this was the inspiration and we did this on an ornament. I think these would make beautiful gifts for Christmas um, for your family members, loved ones, anyone that you know, friends. Um, absolutely beautiful. Um, the ending of this, I'll show it on a tree and we'll see how beautiful it looks. All right. Um, enjoy dotting and I hope you try it. Thanks for being with me. Bye.